Good morning, guys. We're out here on the bait spot, catching some pilchers. We're doing something different today. Taylor called me up, said he's got a Goliath grouper harvest permit. They haven't done this in like 30 years. Then Goliath grouper have been protected since the early 90s, I believe. So I've never kept one or ate one. There's a slot 24 to 36 inches. That's what we're shooting for, but we want to have live bait, you know, to catch other fish too. We're going to run way back in the Gulf there. We're going to see what happens. So you guys are along for the ride. Hope you enjoy it. And it is funny. All right, if you guys want to know something else funny, <laughs> he was on the custom, was the customs border patrol? Yeah. All the customs boat, we were Cabarrus snapper fishing, jet black, couldn't see anyone coming, also they pulled up next to us and scared us to death. It was on it. We didn't catch no fish that night though. We got bait. Oh, we got bait. These guys seem to be nice so far. We'll see how the day goes. Jerry's still out. <laughs> Going down, try to get a Goliath grouper, guys. Apparently, I almost threw Nick out of the boat. She did. <laughs> did Andrew grabbed my shirt. Did almost fall out of the boat, or was it just Nick? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at that ray! Holy moly! Oh, oh sick! Oh. I got it on video. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we have these friendly folks that <laughs> reel them in. Yep. The glutton for punishment. You want something bigger. Yeah, That's him thumping, ain't it? Yo! Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> get him. One crank at a time. Just one crank at a time. There you go. Anybody fight that hard on a 25 inch grouper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big mama here. Pull more from the boat. Yeah, get the rod out the boat if you can. Teamwork! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. Keep getting him, keep getting him. <laughs> big Goliath, big Goliath. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> keep getting him, keep getting him. We got 700 pound leader, you guys, a 20 year old oh. KK circle hook. I think this is Big Mama Goliath right here. He's pulling the boat around. Yeah, he is. <laughs> come back here a little bit. You have to come back here a little bit, yeah. yeah. There you go, yeah, keep going. Keep going, he's pulling the boat around, you guys. He's literally pulling the boat around. Yeah, keep walking over here. Keep <laughs> Andrew, help. Yep. Keep getting them, keep getting them. <laughs> Y'all wanted a Goliath. <laughs> oh, that's heavy tackle right there. See the bottom pan on the bottom of the line there. Hey, you're not supposed to let the broad touch the boat, Taylor. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> well, we forgot our harness. Nick, what are you doing? Is this supposed to, to be fun? You wanted to come do it, not me. Don't bring up. Alright, now I turn the trailer. There you go. Oh, one more. There you go, keep getting them. Keep getting them. Keep getting them. Keep getting them. Doing good. Whooping them now. We're whooping them. Big Goliath on here. I think it's a jumbo Goliath, you guys. Could be Big Mama. Could be the Big Daddy. But probably too big for slot. They can only be 36 inches max. Oh, these things give up. <laughs> the brutal. Oh, oh, this could be a 300 pounder. Oh, this could be a 300 pounder here. Volkswagen. Where's the fight oh share we need? Oh my god. He's pulling the boat in circles. I know. This is crazy. We're circling now. I've done my job. Ooh, doing good, buddy. Keep getting them. <laughs> Taylor's tight. <laughs> I don't have to worry oh. out for like a month. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. I'm spent. No, no, you almost got him. Just <laughs> <laughs> another hundred feet. I don't think he's even bugged, so he's still been on the bottom the whole time. Oh yeah, it's big mama here. Big jumbo Goliath. They caught that live jack, hooked him on a big old hook, so I'm down there. Here he comes, you guys. He's a whopper. He's a giant. Oh my God, look how big he is. He's 300. He's a 300 pounder, guys. BKK, baby. Look at the size of him. How about them apples? 
<laughs> that is a jumbo. Oh my God. Don't think he got nothing on me. <laughs> he doesn't he know. Doesn't know me. <laughs> Woo. He still doesn't even know he's doing. Dude, that was brutal. 700 pound leader, you guys. Taylor. Yeah. How about it? Okay, How about it? Yeah. Everybody's got inside his stomach. All righty. So that one's way too big to keep you guys, but we're gonna get a thumbnail picture of that one. That's the real deal there. That's so cool. Man, he's got, I don't know if that's air. I think air, yeah, even though it's like 20 feet deep here. Yeah. Because he's dogging me. Oh, he was dogging you all right. <laughs> he dogged me. Are you out of breath? No. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You're perspiring. Nah. Look at the sweat. It's because it's a million degrees out here. <laughs> what about these guys? Are they going next? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, they have fish like this on Lake Michigan? No, they do not. <laughs> Thank God. All right, time to let the beast go, you guys. Too big to keep. Big beast, giant Goliath, guys. Good job, Andrew. Hi, right, buddy. Kick. Go down, buddy, go down. There you go. There you go, Woo! big mama, going down. Back to the bottom. Nice job. Boom. We got him, guys. Look at the size of the hook we're using. All righty. Yep, keep pulling on him. What'd you got? I don't know. Was it a crab or what? A crab, yeah. Really? Might be a cobia. Big head shakes. It could yeah. Be. We you got a big hold off on, on the bottom here. Rod, Nick? What's that? You want to hold off nah, I whatever you want to do. I wonder what ate this crab here. Oh, yeah. Hey, this might be an eater back here, you guys. Come on, Timmy! This might be a cobia, sir. Taking line, taking line. Big head shake. I mean, hopefully it's not a shark. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're doing good. Don't let that thing have a fish that that might, well, Don't break them off. Yeah, keep pulling on them. Oh, is that him on top of that bucket, Phil? He's out on the surface somewhere, I just can't see him yet. Hey, I got you in there. Oh, that's fighting like a bear feeder. <laughs> <laughs> the Cootie King over here. Oh, Ooh. I think that's where he's Look at him racing on top. Yeah. Oh, it's a permit. Is it? I just saw his kind of come out of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Permit? Yeah, yeah. Dang. A little 30, 4,500, 20 pound braid on a medium inshore stands rod. Hey, my arms aren't Incredible. recovered from the glide. I don't know, you're fighting that glide there. A lot of whining from this guy. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of catching up here. I'm not hearing a lot of catching back here. Yeah, that's you. true. I hear me drag the fish screaming for those guys. There's a leader right there. So Sassy, you gonna grab him for him? Sure. There you go. You got the leader there. You got your permit. That's a big one. Nice Ooh, one. A big shark. Uh, little oh, cobia right here, you guys. Cobia. Oh, yeah, cobia. Yeah. Danger, throw that right up there. There's a cobia right here. Like, yeah, just uh, put your tip down low. There you go. Tip low, tip low, tip low. Just pull my wife from that trolling motor. Yeah. He was really off of that. Come back here. Come Permit. down low around the motor. Down low around the motor. Down low, down low, down low. There you go, perfect. Good move. Good move. Good job. Permit, baby. Nice job. Permit. Oh, she got Woo! it. Good job. Nice fish. I let him eat it pretty good. That's good. There when you are. You're gonna push start. Nice job. Good job. Congrats. <laughs> Permit. There you go, perfect. Into the abyss. Yeah, back on down he goes. Oof. So I just wonder if that's like a smaller one having trouble eating it yet. Then we had a big mama get it. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> get some more of this bay. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, we, I think we got him. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at those head shakes. <laughs> Andrew, if you go over, you grab him. <laughs> Don't be catching no nurse shark back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay for a bit. There you go. There you go. Boom, boom, baby, boom. Whooping him now. Oh, look at this one, you guys. This might be an eater. Here. That could be a, maybe too big. Baby. But... Yeah, but that one might be. That's a 36. Is he a 36 or is he a 40? Yeah. What's the max? 36. 36, yeah. 40. 40. Yeah. Okay, let's let him go. Go back down. 
this place in the ass. Perfect. Nice job, guys. Yeah, that's cool. All right, the bait's still good. Who's up again? Okay. <laughs> you ready? Damn, you're yeah, up. Okay. Perfect. Give it a shot. How was the Goliath feel? Well, good? That was awesome. First one. First one? Yep, first that one. First never caught? Yep. Oh, awesome. Congrats. That was awesome. Taylor's Goliath could have eaten that one. Uh, that was <laughs> Goliath was a real one there. That's that was a real man. deal there. Do you thump it again or no? Yeah. There you go. That's him. That's him. Get him. Get him. That's him. That could be the grouper for dinner. That could be the one for dinner. Come on, baby. Give us a Goliath grouper. That's him. Oh, he's close. Oh, one right there. Oh, he's barely by the lip. He's barely by the lip. I think he's going to be too small. But let's see. You guys, that's the Goliath grouper, the target. Yeah. <laughs> So, we got us a 25 incher, and that's dinner. So this is the tag there. We have to tag this fish now. This is the one we're gonna keep there. The only thing, what do they do, 200 tags, you think? 200, yeah. 200, yeah, so now. So the grouper's tagged. We're gonna report when we get in there, and Taylor will submit it all online there. Welcome aboard. Oh, it's a oh, giant oh. shark eating your cobia. Oh, giant oh. shark eating a cobia. Wine, 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 wine. Giant bull shark trying to eat your cobia. Oh my god, Who's look at the cobia jumping. Look at the cobia jumping. Oh my god. That's why you don't swim back here, you guys. A big school of fish just swam by. It looked like Creval Jacks and Permit mixed together. I don't know what I got on here. Hopefully it's a permit, but I think it's a jack. We're tight now. Big giant bull sharks in the area too. Don't fall in, don't fall in. Don't fall in, whatever you're doing. Oh my god, dude. That was a monster. Holy That was nuts. Jackman, yeah. Yeah, you can see the oh, other. Almost looks like there's a few. No way. He's still on there. Oh my god. He's still on. He is? Or it's a different one? Or maybe it's a different one. Yeah. A different one. There you go. No, it's the same one. <laughs> you want that rod, bud? I got it. Oh. <laughs> god damn. Come on, permit. Come here, Rod. Thanks. Whew. That was the Brian. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big one. Need to push it. Hang on. One big one. Oh my God, he's down. <laughs> Marlin fishing. <laughs> the damn there fighting chair on this boat. Yeah. You know it? <laughs> there you go. Big pop right go. here, baby. Getting them now. Lifting me off the boat. You just there you go. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There you go. You got all yours now. All yours now. I don't know about that. I ain't touching it. Pulling the boat around. So <laughs> I'm spinning the boat around. Karis, <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, help him, Andrew. <laughs> Don't lose the rod. <laughs> <laughs> They're spinning There's the boat no around, you guys. He's he's out. Out. Drag him 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 out. We're ready? dragging him out now. Go, baby. <laughs> we are dragging him out with the boat, you guys. We got the boat in here. <laughs> We're dragging him out with the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are dragging him out with the boat. <laughs> Watch that line over there. Yeah, reel that in, baby. There you go. There you go. Keep on getting him. There you go. There you go. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We're getting him now. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Woo! Look at the size of that one. Oh! 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 Oh!
Look at the size of that beast. Look at that thing. That's awesome. He's 350 at least. He's a big one then. We both got better now. That's a jumbo. That's a huge one. Man. Bye bye, buddy. Big gaming on the X3, baby. <laughs> this is Jurassic Big Park today. Big the boat in circles. <laughs> yeah, if you want to turn off the boat in circles. Somebody <laughs> almost got yanked in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is. What's our plan with this guy? Lip him. <laughs> put him in the water. Just put them gloves back put on. Put him in the water. Oh, Lord. Lord. It's like a three-inch shark. What are we done with him? Yeah, it's a big one. Hook or something. I guess I'll tell you, grab that leader there if you want. Take a picture real quick. Um, we I had a little incident. I just got worked, you guys. We're trying to get the hook back from the bull shark, and it worked me. I hit my head or my face on the shark, and I lost my new Smiths. I cut the video out because it scared me so bad. So I, ruined, video, I ruined the moment, but this guy has it on here. his phone. <laughs> help him, help him get the rod. I got the rod. I thought it, I thought it had your hands. So Good. the good news is. The good news is Shallow Sport from the We boat did have show. some have boat some show boat glass, glass on here, so thanks Shallow Sport, but <laughs> don't worry about the $10 hook next time, just cut it off if you can't get it out. Yeah. That was bad. Very close. We good? All right, wait, hold on. No, Who was all grabbing this? You Not me. I almost, just, we're gonna use the boat. I almost just died. We put the rope and leader on there. We're going to see if we catch one Come on, tied up to the boat here. Let's see if it works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's the bull shark on. whooped me. Put some gloves on, guys. He's got nice glasses, though. Yeah, I lost my Smith. Unbelievable. Custom Shallow Sports. I bet you could get another pair of snacks. I'm sure they'll sponsor Probably. you. Oh my gosh, Nick. It's gonna pull you in. No, I'm just gonna leave it tied to the boat here. Let's see what happens. Right? It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> we do way more stupid stuff in this than Panama City. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing. I just don't need the whole like, rope tied to the boat. <laughs> yeah, we got something on there. Like bait or a fish? No. Nope. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> Looks like it was hanging in bottom, maybe, huh? Take like our go. bait. Another bait. Fishing on credit. Your bait. Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that would have killed me if I was behind you. <laughs> What's up, the river? There you go. Those are some gloves. Don't make me. <laughs> Still hard. Oh, we got one over here biting, and we got one over here on the rope. I think I was in the bottom. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's coming out of the bottom. You almost got him. Oh, he just come up now. And there was a lot of extra rope out. At least there. Oh, it's going. Go. Yeah, you got him on the rope, dog. Yeah. Double. Hey, hold it there. Hold it there. Just keep out of the boat. Bull shark just smoked him. Four hundred foot shark. The shark is? Yeah. Yeah. Pull him back up. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Sorry, got him. Take a wrap on the clip. You got you. Yeah. The shark's trying to get him. Was he really? Yeah. Dude, if you fell in, the sharks would eat you. Yeah. Yeah. The guy we wore this spot out. Double header. Is he here? Like Goliath is. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, let's let him go. That was way nice. easier. Yeah. Apart way easier than Rod and the Rail. Right? Yeah, baby! Yeah! There you go. Push the drag up, crank on it. Push the drag up. Ah! Just push the drag right, up. You're on. More drag. Come on, Sarah. Now hold on to the rod so it don't break out of there. Like, there you go. Oh, I know, I just don't want to lose the rod. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if the rod goes over, I'm letting it go. Right. 
Sacrifice. No way. Ryan, this, thing, line, 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 this thing line, will pull line, me line. in. I know, but we just want to rip the head out of his mouth. Wind, 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 wind. He can't wind! Okay, okay. Oh, that's drag. I went up on it, yep. Big game and get him, Sassy. No, I'm not catching this shark. He's in the rat holder. I don't care. You have caught a shark. Yeah. Cut it off. Why are we... Nick so that Goliath grouper there got bit in half, and another thing you can do is we left it there, and that big giant bull shark came back and ate him. There's two of them, and he ate him, and he's on here now. All right, I'm out. All right, who wants to crank on the holder? <laughs> oh, if it goes nuts, you can back the drag up a little bit, but it is back. It's got some back in here, so. Dangling your legs down there in the water. There you go. Go back the drag up if you guys aren't the boat, okay? Oh, uh, there's the head back. Yep, there it is, finally. <laughs> nope, yeah, he ate up to the head. He's still breathing. Yeah, alright, let's let that thing go. Let's get back on the spot for another. We'll probably just finish like one more hour, you guys. This is way easier. <laughs> it is crazy how much easier it is. <laughs> we'll pull against the boat. Shh, don't tell me what to do. Are you trying to hang line at Goliath? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is he coming up? Dang. He came off, didn't he? Yeah. I had him up for a second. Yeah, he drop back okay. down. So how you felt in the beginning? That's yeah. how it is the whole time. Yeah. They just come up. Let him eat it. <laughs> it's gonna be a keeper here. Was that fish there or just bottom? Right. I'm gonna set the hook, right? Got him? Get him set. Oh. Oh. He must be a little one. Oh, now he's just gonna be mad and come after it like crazy. Good. Oh, man, it's there it is. There it is. See how easy it is? Ah. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Ah. <laughs> Don't get caught up in the loop. Yeah. Well, you got a big one on. <laughs> get away. Let me oh, see. Right. There you go. It's muy grande. Yeah. It's like a fighting chair. So you got a small one on, you got a big oh. one on. No gloves either. Gloves are for the weak. Taylor, hand me, ah! hand me this line over here. Let me take oh off this line. <laughs> yeah, but then it's gonna be laying on. Yeah, she's, no. oh, she's right here. She almost got it up. Okay. Get him, Sassy. Get him. There it is. That's the knot. There's the knot. There he is. It's a huge one. It's a shark. It's a 100 pound goose. <laughs> <laughs> 80, 80 to 100. Here he comes. Oh, there you go. He's on too. Nice one. Oh, oh, he's a 100 pounder oh, all day. Yeah, that was way easier on that rope. Yeah. That, and that's. <laughs> That's a giant. Why'd she fish. catch bigger ones than you on the rope? <laughs> hey, I'm new at I'm new at this. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that was easy. I right? Even, like break it. That's insane. Good job, Sassy. Nice. Sweet. That is a big fish. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unhook him. <laughs> Perfect job, guys. Nice. <laughs> Andrew, we got your heavy lifting in today. Everybody. Bye bye, buddy. There he goes. Good job, Captain. Made it back. You guys alive? Yeah, alive. man. Excellent. Alive Are you tired? You recover. Sore. A little sore? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was an intermission. I thought we were going for round two. Oh, no. <laughs> Broad mining coming in hot. Horn dog. We're back to the dock. Where's your hat? The hat blew off. Sarah didn't turn her action. I lost it. I didn't know you lost it. Lost my glasses it. in the water. And I'm bleeding and I'm beat up. But someone else, everyone else, they got a sore back. So, but we've got dinner here. We got our keeper Goliath. We're gonna go flay him up here. We got him tagged and all that stuff. And they sent Taylor a whole kit here, and they want to do like genetic sampling from it. So he's got this little kit here, and they want to do. They sent you scissors in there. And I guess you can do like a little fin and clips. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a genetic sampling kit. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna go flay him. We'll get some little fin clips and all that stuff. And then they can also drop the carcass off with FWC 
down there in Marathon. So that's where we're eating. We ain't in the giant Goliath, but this was a slot size, you know, 24 to 36 inches. So we walked up and we said, does anybody know what type of grouper this is? And they all looked at us funny. Because you yeah, don't really ever see, one. you don't ever, you don't really ever see Goliath groupers here, but. And it's not even grouper season, which is even weird. Yeah, but they like, Taylor was lucky, he got the tag, so. I never cool. filleted a Goliath, so this would be the first time. You have it? No. Give me some tips. I'm giving some tips, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure it's the same way, so. We know he'll be good. Now who knows what those big giant ones, man, look at all the scales on them. Those big giant ones would have tasted like, but this little guy here would be, I'm sure he'd be good. He was coughing up crabs as we caught him and all that stuff, so. Ooh, crustacean eater. Oh yeah, they were coughing up stone crabs. They were, they no. were, hitting, they were hitting back there, Matt. <laughs> and then we caught 10 of them. Did you use some claws for bait? <laughs> yeah, but they were coughing them up. I saw multiple crabs floating down when they were shaking their heads. That's funny. Maybe we start eating more Goliaths, the stone crab population would get better. That could yeah, happen. it's probably true of that and the Nancys. Oh, then we did catch two Nancys too. Yeah. Nancys love them some crabs and lobster. So everyone's fired up because there's a little Goliath here on the cleaning table. This is unusual. It's a good eater. <laughs> oh, Matt's excited. Everyone's excited. I don't know if I want to eat one of those 300 pounders, but... Yeah, so, fish like this, 10, maybe eight eight pounds, eight maybe seven pounds. Early bird. I don't know. Good. Doing, right? yeah. I've been doing them like that too, and it looks really good. Yeah. yeah. So, didn't look bad at all, right? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the that's not my favorite knife there, there, but I didn't have a good knife. Yeah, that shoe looks good. I mean, honestly, it's wider than the snapper. Yeah. Yeah. Knock the rib cage out like normal, and so they're gonna take this carcass down here and drop it off at of FWC down south. So, it ain't like we're gonna feed a ton of people because it was a small one. Yeah, First drop, and another one. one. Exactly. Like yeah. group Honestly, like. Uh, so, this will be the first time we ever ate it. Could be the last two. Had it if <laughs> two Goliath grouper fillets, and I know Goliath, you think big, but they start out small. And we're gonna do some sampling here now, though. And there's some head meat there, too. They may. There's a little nugget there. You think we can take the cheek out? It ain't a big, but it's small, but we can do that, and then. You can do the fin clips in there, right? Is that they want fin clips? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna do some little scientific research with them. That's a grouper cheek right there. It's small, but it's a little nugget. One of the girls love to eat it. So, it's had more of meat there, but we want to give the head to the FWC so they can do more research with them. Okay. This is the fin clipping for genetic research. Look at the colors on there. Oh, fin clipping. How you doing? Awesome. Thank you. Where are you guys from? You guys, we just yeah, we're in the keyboard. We got it. Good job. There, we participated in research, everyone. What's the plan, Charlie? Have you ever cooked a live grouper before? Never in my life. That's super illegal. <laughs> Until today. Caught plenty, caught plenty of them, but never. Never right. eaten one. That's the first bit of Goliath grouper meat I've ever seen. We're gonna do a little bit of what's called karage. So we got a little bit of a wash here. We got kind of a seasoned flour. We're gonna lightly crisp it up and then we're gonna season it with a little bit of truffle salt. We've got a nice hoisin sauce here and some sesame oil. And then we have this Estero Bay olive oil, which is or by the Estero Bay olive oil company. It's actually white balsamic vinegar. So we're gonna do kind of a nice thing with a nice little garnish because yeah. this is a special occasion. We're probably not gonna ever get this again, so we wanna do something that's kinda nice, and I don't know if I quite trust this for sashimi <laughs> just yet, so we're, yeah, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna- They were all coughing up stone crabs and other crabs, I will say that. Well, they're coughing up stone crabs, it's pretty good. It's like when, yeah, we used to, when we used to catch groupers off Miami, they would usually cough up lobsters or things like that, and so the gags off of Miami tasted pretty good, but. We're gonna find out here. It's very kind of a slimy meat. I'm actually I don't like to rinse my fish like that, but we're gonna just for good measure. You know? Yeah. We're gonna do some of this in the some of this kind of karage in the fry, and then we're gonna do some of it with kind of a sear. I've got my the cooking torch. Got the cooking torch. So we're gonna sear some of this. And Joe Chef. Right. Amazon special right there. These little fry pieces, huh? This is just, you know, a little wash and nothing, nothing too crazy. What was it, egg and milk? A little egg and milk. And here you got flour plus some seasoning, right? That's right. So 
So mix together their little seed and flour. Okay, so this one here, what are you gonna do in the pan? We're gonna sear this so it's got the flavor, and then we're gonna torch it. We're gonna slice it nice and torch it. Nice. This is the Key West citrus blend. Oh, nice. citrus is always good with grouper. It's sizzle time. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a super light fish, so I mean, it's gonna cook. It's gonna cook pretty quick. This is a uh, high, high concentration, high potency sesame oil. I walked into the house. We cooked a couple of steaks as well. <laughs> and I said, that smells fishy. <laughs> it does smell fishy. But she snuck a piece and said it tastes decent. So It tastes good. It's For being a small fish, it, it's a little chewy, I thought. So I can't imagine trying to eat the like big one. Well, I haven't tried it neither as Charlie, so this will be our first time ever trying it. And it looks good. I mean, it's a little fried up grouper, so it has to be yeah, decent. I, mean, I, mean, I just ate this. It should be good. Soft, but yeah. What not, so. Maybe we'll send the all pieces for tomorrow. We gotta make sure it's safe, but... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Best part. Fire. Torch in time. How many people do you think have had torched Goliath grouper? I think we're probably the first to have torched Goliath. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> so we got steak right here. We got Goliath grouper torch right there, pan seared. We got fried Goliath grouper. We got some leftover oysters. We got from the Cajun Turkey Company some of the corn casserole there that was killer and a killer ham that was awesome. So appreciate that. We're about to have ourselves a feast. Okay, you first, Charlie. Okay. He's the most physically fit and healthiest of us, so. He didn't show up today. That's true, he I didn't make work. this trip. He had, had work to work. do. Here we go. Goliath grouper going down, fried with some special sauce on top. Actually, I'm impressed. Good? <laughs> doesn't taste the same as black grouper, doesn't taste like red grouper. It's like a... Hybrid. It's like <laughs> slimy. <laughs> I'm gonna try a bite now too, you guys. I've never had Goliath grouper before. You, you tell me. In other countries they can eat them, you know, I don't think there's a lot of like catch and cook videos on YouTube with Goliath grouper. Um, I did see one, I think it was in Trinidad. Just, I just turned it on tonight and looked at it, but I'll try it out for my first time ever. Oh no. It doesn't taste as rich as a black grouper. It doesn't have like that kind of fat. It's kind of, it's slimy like you said, like not super slimy, but it's very moist on the inside. And, like a little bit of slimy, I'd say. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't love it. The flavor's good because it's, it's fried decent. with sauce. Yeah, it's got the sauces going it. But if it was just straight fish, if you were just yeah. like have a piece of Goliath grouper, yeah. I don't know. We, this is the one that's really going to... Uh, well, hang on. Let's try this one. Really tell us what's up. Go for that end piece right there because that's the... Seared. And this will be... Because it's not fried, so this actually gives us a better idea of what the actual fish itself tastes like. There we go. Strange. It's strange. It's soft. No. It's different. The texture is different than grouper. Definitely. I thought it... I thought it would have more similar to black grouper. There was a slot, you guys, that could be 24 to 36 inches to keep. The rest of the ones we caught were just too big to keep. Um, but sometimes a smaller juvenile fish of a lot of species are better. It's, I mean, it's decent and it's good. It's just, I would say it's not great, but it's okay. I do like black grouper better. Like Charlie said, snowy grouper, yellow edge grouper, all that. But uh, it's something different too. So it was a cool experience though. And I think they did around 200 of those tags from what I understand. But Taylor got his tag, and that was super cool fishing those guys today. I know they had a blast. He got his first permit, first Goliath, first triple tail, first cobia. We didn't film the cobia, it was a small one. We did lose one nice one, but then both of his buddies had fun, and uh, they were pulling on big Goliaths and big bull sharks and all the other stuff. So, a I great day. Good. You like it? It reminded me of like scallop. It almost tastes like really? scallops. You know, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. It does kind of have it's a scallop. scallopy. Yeah. So the you texture. Like, you like the seared with the torch better than the fried, Sarah? Oh, I didn't try the fried yet. You got a bite earlier, just without a sauce. Mm. That was good. I eat that. So it's decent. Okay, so it's still good. Well, I like scallops, so it really 
reminded me of That's a good comparison, actually. Yeah. It does kind of taste like scallop. It doesn't have a lot of tremendous fish natural flavor to it. I bet if the little girls were here, Claire and Sadie oh, would, would This would be gone. But we're going to have to save a bite or two from that tomorrow. And it's see good with the hoisin. I mean, yeah, the hoisin the sauce and the, the hoisin and the sesame oil and the truffle salt, but that's going to make anything taste great. You know, so. True. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good? Decent? Scallop. Like fried fish, like a scallop? It's going to taste like scallop. Mm-hmm. Scallops. <laughs> is it good? Does that protein make you even faster? Yep. Can I eat it? Sure. So it's decent. Um, like Charlie said, we're probably not going to go out there and if they ever open up the season again, they can go kill a ton of them. But you could have, you could imagine if you killed a big giant one that's two, three, four hundred pounds, you get a ton of meat. You can still eat it and be all right. But I would say there's better eating groupers out there. But we're gonna wrap this video up, you guys, and uh, we'll put a little, we'll put the link with all the info for that. Uh, tag program that FWC did it. We'll put that in the description. And you know, there were certain areas that were open and closed. We couldn't do it on the Atlantic side down here in Monroe County, but we could do it on the Gulf side there, you know, on the base side. Uh, and some boats were doing it up in Everglades National Park too. So pretty cool and uh, you know, neat, because there's so many of those things as you guys saw, we caught a dozen of them today and lost a bunch too. They are heavily populated. And the sharks are very thick back there too. The sh- I think the sharks are a problem, but that's what we got for you. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Come on down to Bud Murray's. Come down there and go fishing with one of the guys there. And if you want any merch, head to the website, stansfishing.com. We got those Goliath grouper rods on there and uh, all the small rods we're using for the spinning rods. And that's what we got. So we'll see y'all next time. Next year, we'll be offering um, selective Goliath grouper charters. If anyone has tags they want to fill, <laughs> give us a call. But that's it. We're eating grouper, we're eating steak, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. One, two, three, let's go.